Marcus, fantastic ride. Uh, it was great to be out there all day and still have the strength at the end. How does this compare to your other victories? Is it is it something you'll be uh, remembering a lot, the way you won this race? Yeah, the way I won, I would definitely remember because it's, uh, it's a tough ride and I'm usually not going in like in a two-man breakaway. I'm more the guy who waits like for the finish, for the final. But in this race, you, you can't wait for the final climb and you have to do something before and I'm quite lucky that it worked out so well. You were obviously out front, you were caught by a group. Uh, can you just talk about your tactics, your decision to attack before the climb? Did you feel that was necessary to win the stage? Yeah, we know we were a nine-man group and we didn't really work together, so it was the only chance to, to go away with, I thought, maybe five or six guys, but then it was just one more and this was really the, the hard way to win this stage. And in the end, at 25 to go, another six guys caught us and then it was quite nice to sit on and wait for the final camp. You, just, you attacked again then in the finale, so uh, can you talk about your decision to go again at that point and to be alone on the climb? Yeah, I knew it's my only chance just to go from the beginning and try to do just the fastest time uphill because I have no more ball left for any tactical games, you know, can't sprint or so, I just need to go always at my, my maximum and then look at them the, from the fastest time in this uphill section and just do it by myself, it's the only chance for me. Finally, the team has two days left. What does the team want to achieve in that time? Yeah, we have um, Christoph Schreitz on the fifth and GC. Maybe we, he can go up to the, like third. We see tomorrow and the last day still two days to go. So we see every day can change a lot, especially with crosswind and the weather. So yeah, we will see. Marcus, an incredible ride by yourself today, out there all day, and you still managed to take the win. It was really a tough ride today. I had always the words of our sport director in my head. Small Irish roads, you know, it's good for a breakaway. And then we had this massive long highway within a 140k headwind section just by two guys. And in the end, I was quite happy when we stopped like 25k's to go. And a small group of six guys catched us, and then it was like a little re relaxed for me and just to sit on because everybody knew I'm I'm fucked and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm done, you know. And I was really happy then the last camp, uh, just made a massive pull and it worked out. Tell me the decision to press ahead with Remy Pelletier Roy, why was that? We won I think nine guy uh, breakaway and we had one Italian of the team in the air with us and he didn't want to work and always stopped working and so it was no way to go ahead with this group. Was the plan this morning setting out that you would go up the road because Seskin Hill is difficult, you had 140 kilometers in your legs not a great expecta expectation to win after that? No, it was more or less a, the tactic to be in the breakaway because we knew that it would be a long race to, to here. For sure it would be nice if it's controlled to come here and just do a final three minute uphill sprint. But we know the race it's uh, decided before and it was the best way being in the breakaway. Tell me two stage wins already for yourselves. Wicklow tomorrow, Conor McConvey, he was second place last year. Can you still look at another stage? I think he recovered now quite well from his really, he had a really bad crash on the second stage and this cost him, let's say, three or four stages. But I think he recovered now and for sure should be in good condition for tomorrow and the last day.